Okay, so give me a few minutes to explain to you why this is not clickbait. But before I continue, I just want to say that this YouTuber who was canceled, this cancellation was not 100% under his control. There was a company involved in this that made his life become what it was a few years ago. Now, let me explain to you how this all went down. Okay, so a few years ago, there was this YouTuber by the name of Vars with a V at the start of his name who made YouTube videos about fighting games and one of his channels specialized in making content about Smash Ultimate. Now at the time, this YouTuber was getting a lot of views via videos that he made about why everyone plays a certain character or why no one plays a certain character. Now these videos were doing extremely well. Some were getting hundreds of thousands of views and for Smash Ultimate, those are really, really good numbers. However, at this time, this YouTuber had not made a video on the character who I main in Smash Ultimate, Greninja. So I looked at the opportunity and thought to myself, hey, let me make a video about Greninja. Since I play the character, I just want to make the video before this guy does and, you know, maybe have a laugh with him and take some friendly, lighthearted jabs at him in the process as well. And I did that. I ended up making my own version of a why no one plays Greninja video. And to my surprise, Vars did see it and he found it hysterical. And he even left me a laughing emoji in the comments section. So he was the one that saw the bright side in this. Now, when I made this video, I did not expect to attract the attention of big content creators or Smash Ultimate YouTubers to react to this video. I never asked for that attention. However, since my video was titled in a way where it seemed like I had done a lot of research and not made it a video that was actually half serious and half a joke, it received the attention of this YouTuber who reacted to it on his stream. By the way, if you're wondering who it was, it was Mars. I probably put him in the thumbnail, but that's the name of this YouTuber. His name is Mars with an M, two S's. Um, he's, a really, he's a really humble content creator that plays a low tier like ZSS. Cool guy, cool guy. I've, I've never met him, but, you know, based on what the community says, it seems like there is, like, nothing bad to say about him. Everyone seems to love the guy, so I got nothing but respect for the guy. From the clips and footage I've seen on camera about him, I got nothing but respect for him. I don't hate him. I don't particularly feel any form of negativity towards this guy. I think he's he's an all right guy. He's, he seems chill. So one day, this YouTuber slash content creator of Smash Ultimate made a video where he reacted to my video and in the comment section there were a lot of people who obviously didn't like it because of the way i titled it because it seemed like it was going to be a well-researched video that had a lot of information now don't get me wrong i did put in some effort into the research part but i also wanted it to be kind of like funny as well where i put funny edits and well, what i thought was funny at the time but since the title of the video was a video, like I said, seemed very well done in the terms of the research. That's why it got this guy's attention. Now, back in the day, this video was sitting on several thousand views. I think it's now on 10,000 views, and I had less than 1,000 subscribers at the time. So I pretty much did what I had to do to get an audience. I sparked it very well. I did what I had to do. I played the game of YouTube. Now, listen, when it comes to YouTube, title and thumbnail are very important. And obviously, my title and my thumbnail were very attractive to Mars enough to react to my video. And of course, well, he didn't like it. He thought that the video was, you know, very, very unserious and not so good, which is fair. I mean, I don't I'm not going to I'm not going to start crying and and say, oh, well, he didn't like my video. You know, I like I said, I was not looking for his attention. I would never asked him to react to. It. I didn't even pay him anything. I didn't send him a donation like, hey, yo, react to my video. He just did it out of his own will because I guess he saw the video there and he was like, this might be good to react to on stream. And yeah, that's how things went about. But right after releasing that video, something unexpected would happen. Now, for those of you who don't know, for those of you that have been living under a rock, Mars at this time was sponsored by Panda Global. And Panda Global, the CEO specifically, was in negotiations to make a tournament of Smash Ultimate with a big prize pool because most of the time there's a lot of complaints about how prize pools in Smash Ultimate or just money in general when it comes to tournaments 
is a lot smaller than, for example, like a Tekken or, or a Street Fighter. I mean, in Street Fighter, there's literally tournaments with $1 million that you could win. You could literally become a millionaire playing Street Fighter, which is outrageous when I think about it. So anyways, Dr. Allen, the CEO of Panda, was in negotiations with Nintendo to make a tournament big. It was called the Panda Cup. However, in the negotiations with Nintendo, Nintendo would then go on to tweet something that triggered, not just triggered, but also got the whole Smash Bros. community outraged. Nintendo would go on to tweet something about how, from now on, if people wanted to run their Smash Ultimate tournaments, they would have to purchase a monthly license. Okay, pause. Now, I know it's unprofessional to stop the video midway like this, but... This is actually incorrect. What actually ended up happening was that the Smash World Tour got cancelled by Nintendo and it was believed that Dr. Allen had a lot to do with it and he was responsible because of his partnership with Nintendo. It was speculated that Dr. Allen then used the power he had with Nintendo to cancel the Smash World Tour, which was a tournament that was essentially the biggest of the year and lots of players were investing lots of their time, money, to travel to events, to collect points, to be a part of the Smash World Tour. And the Smash World Tour was one of the biggest when it comes to the money that it was going to have. And since Dr. Allen was the one to have been rumored to cancel it, that is why he became public enemy number one. Not the fact that Nintendo then would be licensing tournaments, that would come way later after the whole panda drama with the smash world tour the licensing had absolutely nothing to do with it anyways back to the video so from day to night dr allen was immediately public enemy number one and i mean this guy was just getting a lot of death threats hate on twitter social media and it even came to the point where where he got doxxed his own privacy was taken away from him by somebody who just was so outraged with him that they felt the need to not only go after him, but innocent people in his family that had absolutely nothing to do with this. So at this time, what I believed happened, since I wasn't involved with, with the whole Panda thing, is I believe Dr. Allen told all of his employees, all the people that worked for him, okay, so listen, guys, I need you guys to just stop doing anything related to me just stop it let me handle this give me some time to handle this on my own time i am going to just let everyone here um just off because i don't want you guys to go through what i'm going through you know that kind of stuff he wanted to keep his his employees safe and and that's what he did so my video was the last video that mars would upload after being gone for about four months or something along the line it was it was several months that he had not uploaded a video to his YouTube channel because I believe at the time somebody was editing for him and Mars only does like his twitch streams he mostly just does the streaming part of, of his uh, content creation um, job so that's why there was no YouTube videos because somebody would edit them for him so there was no YouTube videos for several months my video was the last one there it was the last one that was published or rather uploaded on his channel for several months. And in this video, he did not turn off the comments. So you could then begin to see people talking to him about, hey, what are you going to do in regards to Panda? Are you going to leave? Are you going to stay? Give us an answer. Some people, you know, those people that literally want to know everything about everyone's life, then just began to tell him, hey, yo, what's up? And then ultimately, Mars would then end up tweeting saying that he would decide to stay with Panda. And this decision didn't really sit well with a lot of people. A lot of people were not happy at the fact that he did this. But put yourself in this man's shoes for a second. I recently went on a Reddit post to find out how people felt about this. It was a post from about two years ago. And a lot of people were very understanding towards it, saying that, well, yeah, this guy needs money because he has to pay his rent, his bills, and all this stuff. And, I mean, if I were in his position, I would have done the same thing. You know, rent is going to be something that you're going to be constantly paying. And if you don't pay it, you're going to get the boot. So, of course, financially, Mars just took what was the best decision for him. And if people wanted to call him a sellout, then, listen, 
money is tight, bro. Money is tight. So he just took the best decision. Also, his girlfriend at this time was recently in a car accident. I don't know what the damages were, but with the healthcare system that we have here, those hospital bills were probably just taking away more of their income towards obviously getting Mars' girlfriend to, you know, to get medical uh, medical attention and all this stuff because, well, you kind of need to pay for medical attention if you're hurt. So there was that. So in the end, I mean, I don't hate Mars. I don't think he's a bad person. I literally just think that, you know, he was just taking what was the best decision for him financially. And of course, like I said, you know, he had bills to pay and those people that are calling him a sellout were definitely not going to you know, give him money to pay his bills. He was just taking what was the best decision for him. But ultimately, in 2023, in January, he would announce that he would leave Panda because obviously the situation with Panda did not improve and I guess he had to leave. But luckily for him, Luminosity Gaming now sponsors him. And now he goes to tournaments and I'm assuming that he's doing just quite well. He's doing absolutely fine. Like I said, I got no hard feelings for Mars. I mean... He was just giving my video his honest thoughts. I'd rather people be honest when they're criticizing my stuff anyways. I get I get hate comments here and there. It, it is what it is. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna start crying and, and then wanna, you know, do something bad to myself or that I can't say on a YouTube video because I don't wanna get demonetized, but you know, that's just how it is. When anything you do in life will always be criticized by people. So if Mars even had decided to leave, then people would have told him stuff as well you can't win with these situations you are you're not going to please everybody it's just impossible but yeah i mean i hope if mars somehow ends up saying this i hope you're doing well and you know you're still believing in the fact that zss sucks which i mean honestly as the meta gets older in this game i just find that more true but yeah no hard feelings mars